My name is Ian Scott, Director of Tourism for the UK and Ireland for Dubai. Good afternoon and thank you for joining Breaking Travel News. We're on to the third day of the 2013 World Travel Market. Yep. How's the event been for you this year? Um, it's been good. I think this year we, well certainly from a Dubai perspective, we're in a very good shape in 2013. Next year's looking good as well. So it's always nice to have those conversations with partners about um, building on the momentum that we've already got. So it's, you know, in years gone by, it's been, you know, how, how we're going to get ourselves out of a, a challenging environment. Now it's how we're going to build on a very positive environment. So it's been good so far. And um, we're here in London. Um, how important is the UK market uh, for Dubai as a tourism destination? Uh, it's huge. It's the third largest source market in the world. So Saudi Arabia is number one, India number two, UK number three. If you include cruise, we are probably close to a million people a year going from the UK and Ireland into Dubai. So it's a big market. It's a very exciting time for the destination. I understand it's a visionary uh, part of a grand plan as well that Dubai is looking very much to the future with your yes. 2020 vision. Perhaps you could just tell our viewers a little bit about that. Yeah, what we, um, we've announced a vision called uh, 2020. Uh, over the last five or six years, our visitor numbers have doubled uh, between sort of 2005, 2010. Um, and then we reached 10 million figures, 10 million visitors in 2012. And so the vision now is to double that number, if you like, from 2012 to 2020 for 20 million visitors. So it rolls off the tongue, 20 million people by 2020. Um, and so that vision has been set, it's been approved by Sheikh Mohammed, and this is now about delivering those numbers. So we've got to work hard over the next seven years and put the strategy in place to get the numbers there. Infrastructure is quite an important part of that as well. You've just opened a new airport yeah. to encourage um, the hub nature of Dubai uh, in the aviation sector. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so as you say, so to get 20 million people, we've got to think not just about new hotels, and we, I can talk about that as well, on new attractions, and we can talk about that, but it's about infrastructure too. Um, so we've just opened, uh, it's been open for a while from a cargo perspective, but the new airport has just opened from a, a passenger perspective as well. There's a very long-term vision there to grow that to be the world's largest airport, well, yeah, the largest airport in the world. Um, um, with a capacity of nearly 200 million people a year going through that airport. At the same time, we're still developing Dubai International, which at the moment I think is the second busiest airport in the world. Next year, that itself will be the busiest in the world for international travel. So you can see that the, you know, 20 million people a year is a lot of it's a lot of movement, and so the infrastructure is important. Beyond the airport, things like uh, a new tram network, a new rail network, uh, new roads, new bridges. So the infrastructure is obviously very important to attract those visitors. And you're still in the bidding for Expo 2020 as well. Um, I believe the decision is announced later this month. Um, what will that bring to Dubai? That will bring, it'll be a catalyst for us. So as part of this vision, we will get to 20 million visitors by 2020 regardless. And, um, you know, there are many... Uh, sort of adventurous plans already in place, blue water project, uh, a land reclamation project out to sea, Sheikh Mohammed city with a hundred new hotels, etc. There's lots going on. If we win Expo 2020, it will just really energize the city. It will focus the investors, it will focus the, the developers. And I just think it will mean that the pace of change of that development will, will, will be much, much quicker. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's a very interesting pause. Thank you. Thank you very much.